Hello my lovelies. Uh, it's hair day. We love hair day here. Woo -hoo -hoo. If you watched yesterday's vid, you'll know that uh, I tried to achieve my blue fantasy. Um, eh, it's alright. Uh, but um, I'm getting ready to take this down. I slept in a French braid. I, there's definitely more blue when I'm braided, which is cool. Um, and I am having a major fallout on the ends. Uh, as you can see, the blonde is super dusty because of the transfer. I'm not super worried about it. It will go back to blonde, my first wash. Um, after, it's the Rockabilly Blue Manic Panic. Even with vinegar rinse, it just, it has like this chalky transfer that happens. I have no idea why it does that. Um, it's the only Manic Panic I've found that will do that after vinegar rinse. So whatever Manic Panic. Any hoodles. Um, I'm taking my hair down out of this. Uh, so uh, today we are doing video game inspired hairstyle. We're going to do a Dragon Age Origins hairstyle. Um, it did not make it to um, Inquisition and I cannot remember if it's in Dragon Age 2. It might be. I think it I think it is, uh, but I'm not 100% positive, so don't hold me to it. Um, but this one is actually pretty easy. The only thing you need to know how to do is English braid. So it will hopefully look fancy when we're done. Um, but I mean, at least, you know, like starting off, it's, there's no lace braids, there's no French braids, there's none of the stuff. And for all my people who do not like little rope braids we're not doing those either so yay um so we just want to make sure we're tangle free uh because you know we like that here uh it makes me feel better it makes you feel better it just makes everybody feel better uh any hoodles so what we want to do um what do we need we need some pins because there is like a little bun deal going on the back um, I'm going to try using just Amish. I might have to break out um, Amish pins, you pins. Um, I love my Amish pins. They are fantastic. Um, we're going to try just using those, but we might have to break out bobbies. I don't know yet. We shall see. We need those. We need some clear hair ties for the ends of braids. You guys know I love my clear hair ties. And uh, just to make sure that it looks like um, the actual video game, we do need pearl pins pins with pearls on the ends uh what are these these if you look at the ends of these i put some hot glue on the end so i wouldn't jab myself in the head right but these are corsage pins that you can find any place they have fake flowers um yeah they they sell them there uh yeah you just have to put something on the ends uh, you can use epoxy but the hot glue worked great Surprisingly, we need to split down the middle, you guys. Um, yeah, the hot glue worked great, so yeah. Any hoodles? Yay! Are we are we split? That's pretty even. It's good enough. It's good enough. So uh, what we need to do is make four English braids. Now, the way you do your English braids, I mean, you you can do if you really really want. You can do fishtail braids, but you guys know with hair this long, fishtail braids are ridiculous. Um, we need four braids. Four. So we need two that are going down right, right here. So I'm going to do two English braids right here on either side of my face. And then we need right behind those two more. But when you braid those, instead of braiding straight down, you need to braid back so that they will lay right because they need to go around our head. So I'm gonna get my braids done first, and then I'll be back, and then we'll put this together, and it will be cool. But let me get the braiding done because it takes forever. Okay, back in a sec. Alrighty, we're back, we're braided. I wanna show you how I sectioned because someone will ask. So the first two are right on either side of your face, like so, and then these ones, you see how you can't see it here? Um, we do these sort of underneath into the side, and when you braid it, you need to braid it this way, um, I wanted to show you this is how I went about it. I just pulled this up so I could get to it. Um, yay. See how that works? Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, now for the fun part. 
which we're gonna need our mirror. Let me grab because all this happens on the back of our head. Uh, these are gonna leave just as they are. They just hang here. They're for decoration purposes. These we need to pull back um, and secure. So pull all this down, nice. Make sure you're, we're smooth. So we need to pin, we are gonna have to use a um, bobby pin for this one, uh, just so we have a base to start. But we need to pull these back, cross them over, and right. secure. My little bobbies were just still put away from when I did homecoming here. So, again, you wanna make sure that this is smooth. Me moving around made it less smooth. That feels like it should be center. And then we want to pin. You want to X pattern pin these. So I'm going to pin like this. And I'm pinning to the hair underneath as well. Because I want these to get through the braid and then cross over. We want this to be pretty stable um, where we've pinned. So that should be stable. Let me check. It feels good. Yay. Okay, cool. So we have a base because we need a base because we have to make some loops and things. So my two second braids, these ones, I ended up not putting any clear hair ties on the end because as you can see, the end of these get really, really small. Um, so I just braided down and left them because we're going to roll these and then we don't have to worry about hair ties being in between. Good, right? So now we need to make some loops. Um, and I am going to have to use my mirror so I can make sure my loops are okay. Um, we just need two loops, um, like so. See, we're gonna loop on this side, and then we're gonna loop on this side. Um, I'm gonna do an edit so I can get these pinned because sometimes it'll take me a little, you know, fiddling, but, um, and then we want to bobby pin those in place as well. We want to make sure your loops are even. So let me get that done and then I will be right back and we'll finish this up and hopefully we won't have to cut away anymore. Okay, back. Alrighty, we're looped. Looped, we have our little loops. Lovely. We should have these little braid ends left. Um, I can't remember if I said this, I might be repeating myself, but I did not use, uh, since these were so small at the end, I didn't use clear hair ties, which is nice. So what we want to do with these is uh, put them together like so. Um, and we're going to go to the end, we're going to do like a pinwheel. Uh, you guys know how this goes. We wrap it around our finger, roll it up till we hit braid. Pop it off our finger and then continue to roll it up pinwheel style. Um, this is how we make the flower buns and stuff. Um, yeah, so we're gonna roll it up with the braids and what this does is it's gonna make a little bun to cover up all of the works. Hopefully it will cover the works fairly well. <laughs> we'll see. Um, where all of our pins are, maybe not super duper quite, but sort of. Um, we can always fiddle and try and hide, hide our pins a little bit better later. I'm going to use these um, because these work great with like braided pinwheel buns. Um, hopefully I'll get them in in such a fashion that we won't see them too, too much. We're probably going to see them a little bit, but uh, <laughs> if they made these in a color closer to my hair, it would definitely not be as big of a problem. That feels pretty good. Um, let us see. They're not even poking out too terribly badly, uh, shockingly. Um, see? See? Uh, not so bad. We got a little bit of pin showing. But, you know, what are you going to do? I don't have the wee wee tiny pins. I'm not sure exactly what happened to my wee wee tiny pins, but now I'm going to take these. I told you about these before and I'm going to put them around. Uh, these are even kind of long. I suppose I could have made these this really big, but it's not really big. Um, and we're just going to take these, 
around the outside like so you see okay so I'm gonna put my pearls in around the perimeter and we'll be back and we'll see our final reveal all right ready so this is how we look mm -hmm. it's pretty right now there is one more step we can do um, but this is pretty by itself. A lot of these, a lot of these hairstyles have these braids in the front, and they look really weird sticking out to me. Um, and of course, animated hair does not have to obey the laws of actual real person hair. So what I'm gonna do is just take a, this little section right here um, that I have tucked, and I'm gonna pull this out. All right. This is why I didn't just do this first. I wanted to show you what it looked like on either side. <laughs> options, guys, options. Um, so if you pull it straight back from here, this is how it will look. You get a definitely, you definitely get like a space, da da da, that's how it goes. But if you do it this way and just leave this section here, this section right above where your braid is, if you leave it out or take your braid underneath, then it looks like this. On this side, um, like if you're like me and you kind of prefer to have a little hair behind the braid instead of the braid just kind of out there hanging, um, this way you get to see, you know, how it looks. So you can make your decision on which way you would like to go about doing this hairstyle. Um, my preference is this side, so I'm going to go ahead and make this side match this side, and then I will be right back. And then we will discuss how awesome this hairstyle is. Sort of. Okay, back in All right. Back. Now we're to where it's, this is my preference, um, but you guys know. I like to give you options. So my preference, of course, is to have some hair behind the braids because to me, it's just a little weird just having the braid and then nothing. Although it is clear that that's how hairstyles were done at some point because they've even done that on Game of Thrones a few times. Um, I'm thinking of... Uh, Celise, Celise Baratheon, Stannis' wife, she had those weird things sticking out. Some of the wildlings do that too. But, um, there. So that's how it would look in the front. And then we're gonna go to the rear view. Um, here we go! Uh, this is a Dragon Age hairstyle. Um, I did small loops. You can do bigger loops and a, and a bigger bun if you want to. Um, I kept it small, um, because it was fairly small in the game. Uh, granted, the hair in the game is only to here, so it won't clip into um, various armors, etc. cetera. Uh, so it was done on short hair. So there you go. It doesn't matter what length your hair is for this, but it is kind of funny because, you know, it's done on hair this length. And you see, I have classic length hair, like 48, 49 inches long right now. And that is all the length on the sides to do the loops and the bun. So I guess that section of the character's hair is classic length while the rest of her hair is here just so she can do... <sighs> Animated hair, you guys! Doesn't have to obey rules. Um, but this is what it would look like on real hair, basically. Um, but I think it looks nice, and I think this would be a good hairstyle if you go to, you know, the Ren Fairs and stuff. I think it's pretty. Um, it gives you that feeling, which is nice, um, and it's cute. I mean, it is. It's a, it's a cute, it's kind of like a half up deal. Not quite, because I pulled these down, but, you know, if you didn't want to do these two pieces out in front, you can just do the two braids and then do this, and I think... It'd be really pretty for you. So, any hoodles, that's it for today. That is our first Dragon Age hairstyle. Next week we're doing another one. Um, we're doing uh, my favorite one, the one I usually pick uh, when I play Origins. So, uh, that one's nice. And that one actually does obey long hair rules, which is super fun because it's a full updo. So, um, we'll be doing that one next week. And, uh, yeah. So, two video game styles this week. Aren't you psyched? I'm psyched. I love video game hair, especially trying to figure out how to make it work on actual, real hair, which, as you can see, we have to kind of think outside of the box a little bit. So, uh, any hoodles, 
I will see you tomorrow with some thoughts or maybe a tag. We'll see. And then, uh, yeah, awesome. So, yeah, this is good. Oh, P.S. Uh, Cass comes back on Tuesday. I'm so excited. Okay, yeah, just, you know, FYI. Any hoodles, love you guys. See you tomorrow or next week, depending on which of my lovelies you are. <laughs> All right, bye.